Uh, hello, uh, welcome to uh, my video series, Setting Up Lotus Domino 8.5.1 on OpenSUSE 11.1 64-bit in VirtualBox 3.0.8 on Microsoft Windows 7 64-bit. This is Part 5, VirtualBox Guest Editions, and I am your host, Devin Olson. Okay, let's get started right away. Um, I've just brought up our VirtualBox um, control. And there's our OpenSUSE installation. The last part we actually uh, got OpenSUSE installed and running, and now we need to make some uh, additional changes to it in order to allow uh, the VirtualBox guest editions to work properly. Now, one thing I want to show you very quickly is the snapshots capability of the Sun VirtualBox. So I'm going to go here to snapshots. This is the current state of my OpenSUSE Domino server machine, even though Domino's not yet installed. And you can take a snapshot at any point in the operation of your, of your, I guess, lifespan of your virtual machine, as long as the machine is not running. So here's the, the, what the current state is. I'm going to take a snapshot of it. Um, because this is the base setup, meaning my machine, my OpenSUSE uh, operating system has been installed and set up. So I'm going to say uh, base OS installed, and I can put in a description, you know, um, and I complete first first login as root complete and I can go ahead and save that and then bang there's a picture of my of my snapshot and I can click on that and bring up the description um, and excuse me huh interesting my description's not showing up and oh there's my description ha 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 life is fun all right anyway um, so that's how you take a quick snapshot. What we want to do is we want to start the server up right now. Now here's the reason that we want to bring up virtual, install the virtual box guest editions. Here we have, we have auto capture keyboard turned on. And what this means is the keyboard is going to automatically capture, or excuse me, the virtual machine is going to automatically capture my keyboard every time I have focus on the VM. Additionally, it's going to capture my mouse. And the thing is, it will not release my mouse or my keyboard until I uncapture them. And the way that I uncapture them by default is by pressing the right control key. And that will tell the system, tell the virtual machine to let go of the stuff that I have so that I can go and interact with other things on my desktop. Now this is kind of a pain in the, in the, in the rear. So what the virtual box guest editions, um, once we get them installed and configured correctly, what they will allow us to do is to um, move between the operating system, the virtual operating system, and other things on our desktop in our host environment um, without problem. It's, uh, it just kind of lets us go back and forth very, very nicely and very, very easily. Additionally, it allows us to do other things like connect to shares from the host and stuff like that. So what we're doing is we're bringing up uh, OpenSUSE right now. Before the VirtualBox guest editions can actually be installed on OpenSUSE, because they have to actually be installed on, the, on, the, on every client virtual machine that you're running, they actually have to be installed. Before they can be installed, however, we have to do some additional um, preparatory work to the underlying operating system. In this case, um, OpenSUSE needs to have some additional packages installed and updated. So I'm going to log in as root again. You should never, ever, ever do this because, you know, the rules of security say you should, you should sign in as your, um, as your, as your normal user account, and then use the uh, super user command either from the command line su dash followed by the root password or the sudo prefix sudo space and then whatever command you wanted to enter the command line, you can preface that and uh, again you'll be asked for the root password. I'm very, very lazy and I don't like doing that, so I'm, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to go in as root and uh, that's just how I'm going to do it. Uh, again, you should not do this. So here we are in our console, in our, in our OS and where I'm going to sign in, uh, or excuse me, I've already signed in, so I'm going to open a command terminal. The first thing we need to do, do is we need to install some packages. Um, now, I could use, if I chose to do so, the 
graphical interface to get to what I want to do by coming up here and activating Yast and, and using the graphical interface. I could do that, but uh, I really don't want to deal with that at this point, so I'm going to do it old school, and then I'll show you how to do it uh, graphically as well in just a moment. So here